Hi there, my name's Fraser. I'm a personal trainer from Nuffield Health, and today we're gonna to go through an upper body workout to help you build strength and muscle. Let's get started. We're gonna start off with a warm up first that's gonna be relevant to our workout. So the first thing we're gonna do is a nice dynamic chest opener, something like this. So we're gonna reach our arms out, try and squeeze shoulder blades together at the back, and then come back in. So open up the chest, squeeze and shoulder blades together at the back. Open up for a hug, close it back in. Open up. You want to feel a lot of tension across your back and your chest as you're pulling apart. Excellent stuff. Next I'm going to do is some shrugs. So I'm going to show you a front view and then a side profile of this one. So we're going to shrug up, I don't care, just like that. And then one off to the side as well. Like that. So if you notice, I'm going up and back. We want to feel a lot of tension across the top of our back for this one. Little pause at the top of the movement. And relax. Little pause at the top. And relax. Start again. Up and back. And back down. Up and back. And back down. All the movement on the shoulders. Try not to bring the arms up like this. Just shrug it up with the shoulders. Fantastic. Next one's gonna be a hand walkout. So you wanna give yourself a bit of space for this one. It'd be a nice wide stance with the legs. And we'll be going down to a press up position. So it'd be something like this. Walking down and then back up again. The whole time we're doing it as well, we wanna make sure the core stays nice and tight. If you wanna make it a bit more challenging for yourself, you can go down, do a press up and back up again. But for this, we're just gonna do some normal hand walkouts. Go as fast or as slow as you like, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm getting ready for our wheelbarrow race. We'll do one more. And we're back up. So hopefully now we should be feeling quite warm. We're gonna start off with block one and it's gonna be a barbell bench press. So we're going to grab our barbell, come over to a flat bench. As we're going down, we're going to keep that natural curve in the lower back. We're going to find our grip so we're just past shoulder width apart. And we're going to go for 10 reps. Let's go. So nice controlled on the way down. Find that spot at the bottom of the chest. And push up again with a bit of power. So we're going for maybe like a two second descent, followed by one second on the way back up. You find as you're doing this as well, you might be wobbling slightly. That's absolutely fine. Just make sure we got our feet flat on the floor as well when we do this, and we're keeping our core nice and tight. And that'll be 10. Just another tip as we're doing this as well. If when you do it, and you're feeling it more on the shoulders than you are on the chest, Grip might be a little bit too wide. So have a little play around with it. Everyone's a little bit different. But generally speaking, we're going just a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Between these exercises, maybe take between 30 seconds to maybe a minute, then go back on to the next step. So that was our first one. Now let's do the second. Okay, so same as before. Adjust that grip. Make sure you're symmetrical on both sides. And now we're going to drop that bar down bottom part of the chest, nice controlled, and then back up again. We'll go for another 10. Keeping that core really, really tight as we're coming down. Also concentrate on the breathing. So when we get to the top of the movement, big breath in, keep everything nice and tense, and then back up top again, and up. Big breath in, and now we're going to get to the top. Nine, and one more. Ten. There we go. Cool. So that's our barbell chest press done. Should be feeling a nice burn across the chest. So next we're going to do now is going to be an incline pec fly. So we're going to adjust our bench to 30 degrees. 
And then we're gonna grab some dumbbells. Now you don't have to go too heavy for these. I've just chosen fives. Position ourselves on the bench. Dumbbells up in the air in front of the face. I'm gonna fly down, open up the chest, keep the dumbbells by the side, and then back up to the top again, staying shoulder width apart. Again, really, really control with the movement as we're coming down, and then back up again. Really controlled, down just by our body, and back up to the top. Keeping shoulder width apart, so we don't want the dumbbells to meet in the middle. We want to keep the exercise all on the chest. You might find that one arm might be stronger than the other. That's fine, completely normal. This is a good way to find out those imbalances. And one more. And relax. Fantastic. You might see people when they do their incline pec fly, the dumbbells are coming out all the way to the side. Now that's not that that's a wrong way to do it, but it can damage the shoulder over time. So we're gonna keep those dumbbells really, really close to the body, make sure all the exercise is focused on the chest. Ready for set two? Okay. So back down again. Take as much time as you need. Dumbbells up to the top. Start position just past shoulder width apart. And we're gonna go down again for another 10. That's it, keep it controlled. You probably find as well, you realize you don't have to go too heavy for these ones. Coming up to number five. Lovely. Still keeping the head flat back on the bench. You want to keep a nice straight spine when we do this. If you feel it pull on your shoulders a little bit too much, you're probably going a little bit too low. So keep it in line with the body. That's number nine. Here we go for 10. There we go. And relax. Woo! God, I can feel that already. So that brings us on to our next exercise, which is the press ups. Obviously, we've got two variations of these ones here. We can either go for normal conventional press up, or we can go for a half press up, the one on your knees. So we'll just do the normal one first. Hands down, about shoulder width apart. With these here, we want to make sure the elbows can be flaring out slightly. We, again, we don't want to, want to protect our shoulders, so we don't want to see the elbows come out this way. So we're going to come down, into the press-up, and back in the go. Again, keeping the core nice and tight, keeping back straight, and pushing. Take your time with the descent. Control the breathing. There we go. So with these, you can do between, say, eight, maybe 10 press-ups. The next one I'll show you, we'll do half press-ups. So with the half press-ups, everything's gonna be the same when it comes to sort of the upper part of the body. But this time the knees are just gonna be in contact with the ground. So exact same position. And this would be for people who can't quite do a press-up yet, which is absolutely fine. We're gonna go down, knees in contact with the ground, and back up again. So everything stays the same on the upper half of the body. Still keeping the back straight, still keeping those elbows flared out. Back up again. And you'll find the more you do this, the stronger you get. Eventually you'll be able to work your way up to doing a full press-up. It's still controlling the way down. One more. And up again. Lovely stuff. That brings us to the end of block one. So, block two. We're going to adjust the bench again for this one. So we're going to get a dumbbell shoulder press. So the seat's going to be flat. And we want to get as straight up as possible for this one. Grab the dumbbells again. Okay, okay, 
chest should be feeling quite, quite big at the moment. So we're going to give that a slight rest. With our dumbbell shoulder press, again, weight selection, keep it quite light to start off with. Back and flat up against the seat, elbows in slightly, and we're going to extend up to the top and control on the way back down again. So we're going up to the top. Get really, really controlled with the movement. If you imagine that dumbbell's pretty much going to go up in a straight line. We don't want to see it veering off too much. And if you imagine as well, when we come back down, you imagine like an invisible straight line to my elbows. We want to pass that line just, and then come back up again. Just control it down, and back up. A few more of these. down and one more there we go cool nice one little tip just as we're bringing the dumbbells up for the shoulders try to avoid swinging them up now over time it might potentially cause an injury so what we're going to do pop them on the knees and we're going to go boop, boop, and cover that with there just a little trick for you so on there knee up knee up rather than going for a full swing i'm sure you've absolutely safe with these anyway but good to get into a good habit so, relax shoulders like a little bit. Wipe off sweat your face if you've got it. Woo. And then be ready for our second set. Okay. So let's put this in practice. One, two, and we're up. Elbows slightly forward. Dumbbells will be follow the line of the arm. And press up. Lovely stuff. When you get up to the top of that movement as well, try not to fully straighten the arms. We want to be in control of that movement the whole time. Always control of the weight. So just before the arm straightens, then come back down. We good? Nice. And one more. Lovely stuff and relax. Okay, cool, so that exercise there worked the larger part of our shoulder. Now we're gonna isolate a little bit, and do some lateral raises, where we're gonna work this side of our shoulder. So, use the same dumbbells if you like. Relax a little bit again, take as much break as you need. So lateral raises, with this movement here, dumbbells gonna stay about shoulder width apart. Dumbbells are gonna come up, Come back in again, stay in shoulder width apart. Chest out the whole time. Excellent. And again, we're gonna go for maybe a one second on the way up, two second control on the way down. Starts getting a little bit harder if you've done shoulder press. Two more. Check One more. Body. Cool. And relax. We want to be feeling that exercise there Check predominantly the on the side of our arms. So side of our arms, this part of our shoulder here, predominantly. I just thought, kind of, you probably noticed my thumbs are sort of pulled up slightly. Perfect. That's how we want to do it. We want to try and avoid bringing that off to the side. Then it becomes more of a, uh, a trap movement, the muscles at the back here. So we want to isolate this part of the shoulder. We come from here, come to the top. Keep your chest high, then control on the way back down. Okay. Second set. This is a good little burn for the shoulders, this one. So staying shoulder width apart, chest up. Here we go again. Set number two. Lovely. Still control it on the way back down. One second. Two seconds. Make that muscle work. There we go. And weight selects with this one here. Go light. Go light with this one. Number eight. Nine. And ten. 
and relax. Okay, so we've done a lot of chest. We've done a lot of shoulders. Our last one for shoulders is gonna be our rear delt flies. Now that's gonna be working the rear delt, so the muscle at the back here. Different kind of position for this one. So we just need a bench or a box that we can sit on, like so. Feet are gonna be out, so you're gonna be sort of a, uh, a normal seated position. And just like we did for those lateral raises, but we're going to stay shoulder width apart. Now with this one here, we're going to be leaning down into it. So we don't want to have a curved back. Push our stomach down, so back stays straight. Grab your weight. Staying shoulder width apart, we're flying out. And coming back in again, staying shoulder width apart. Out. And back in. Still. One second. Two seconds. One second. Two seconds. Now this one looks a little bit funny, it can feel a little bit funny. Sometimes it feels like you're not flying out too high, but trust me, you are. You wanna go just to about level. And one more. Back it again. And relax. So we wanna be feeling this one right at the back here. When you're doing this one, when you're coming up, it feels like you're coming up to about here, but you will be going flat. As we're sort of coming up as well, try not to fly up and overextend. Keep it controlled, all the way up to the top. You'll feel the tension across the back of the arms so on the rear delt, and then control the way back down. Reason why we want to stay shoulder at the part as soon as we bring that in a little bit closer, then we sort of take the emphasis off the rear delt, we put it on the traps. So we're going to stay shoulder at the part. Take a breather. Wipe off the sweat if we need to. Next set. Okay, same again. Stomach forward, back straight, shoulder width apart, let's go. Control back down. Nice. Try not to lift yourself up while you do it. If you feel like you have to, then it might be that the weight's a little bit too heavy. Just drop it down again, you don't have to go too heavy for this one. I'm only using fives, this is good enough for me. And one more. And relax. Cool. That's pretty much shoulders done. Amazing. So that brings us on to block three. Now for block three, we're going to do a little bit more uh, back for this one. And we're going to do some arm stuff, so some biceps and triceps. Our first one's going to be dumbbell, dumbbell single arm row. Dumbbell? Oh, dumbbell. Dumbbell single arm row. Any sort of surface for this one we can use. Just need one dumbbell. A few different positions that we're not for. We just need something that we can lean on, like so, keeping the back straight and drive the dumbbell from this position here, directly beneath your shoulder, and bring it back towards the hip, just like that. And we want to feel it just here, across the back. If you feel this one on the tricep too much, it's probably because we're going up this way. So let's go for 10. Control on the way back down as well. Try and keep those hips as still as possible as we're doing it. Back towards the hip. This is traveling like a diagonal line. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Lovely stuff. Once you've done one arm, switch straight to the other. Same position. Dumbbell below the shoulder and traveling up back towards the hip. Want to feel tension in the bottom of the back, bottom part of the lats. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice. So with regards to breaks for this one, because you're alternating arms each time, feel free to quickly go back and do the right one straight away. Or if you need to, have a little break, like I am, and then go back to the right one again, and then back to the left. The same position. Dumbbell again. And driving up, towards the back of the hip, back down again. 
making sure we're keeping the spine straight the whole time. Even when you get to the top of this movement here, feel free to sort of emphasize the exercise. So not only are you coming up, sort of just bring it back slightly as well, just to fit on that lower part of the lap. And one more. Lovely stuff. Switch over. And again. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. Lovely stuff. Any surface for it doesn't even necessarily have to be that sort of height. It could be something on a, even a dumbbell rack there. As long as we've got posture leaning forward here and we can sort of drive back towards the hip, it could be really low, it could be medium height, whatever you like, whatever you can get your hands on. So, next one hammer curl biceps. Grab two dumbbells. Again, stand at quite a light weight. This one here, we're going to go from a position, standing up, and we're going to be curling up this way here. So if you notice my arm here, it's going to stay completely tucked in as I'm doing it. Just hinging at the elbow. Here we go. Control on the way back down. Keeping chest up as well. Five, show your side profile as well. There we go. So notice as well, my elbow's completely tucked into the side. What I want to try and avoid is getting my front delt involved, so front part of the shoulder. You want to keep it controlled, and again, all the emphasis on the bicep. One more. Lovely stuff. And relax. Okay, so we've only got two ex or one exercise left after this complete our upper body workout. Hope you're feeling worked. I know I am. Okay, a lot of various different bicep exercises we can do here. Hammer curl is quite a popular one, an easy one to do, and a very safe one to do as well. Just try and avoid swinging, swinging that movement. If you feel like you have to do this to get the dumbbell up, again, probably a little bit too heavy. So just make sure we go quite light with this one. Really, really control the movement. Feel a little pinch at the top as if you're tensing your biceps, and then control the way back down. Second set. Okay. Chest up. Dumbbells facing forward. All the way up to the top. There we go. We've got to imagine as well there's two parts to every exercise. We've got the concentric phase, which will be this one, all the way up and the eccentric phase going down. Both as important as each other. We don't want to let gravity take its course and just drop the weights down like so. We want to control the movement to get the most out of it. There we go. Two more. And one more. Lovely. Biceps done. Now, an arm workout isn't complete without doing the other one as well. Triceps. Really, really good one will be an overhead tricep extension. This is going to be single arm, so we'll do one arm at a time. Grab a light dumbbell. This one here is going to be placed above the head, like so. We're going to be dropping the dumbbell down, and just like we did with that bicep exercise, keep this part of the arm completely locked in, so we're just hinging at the elbow. And up to the top. And we want to feel tension down the bottom of the arm. Do whatever you want this hand, by the way. I'm just putting it there. You can do this if you want. Wherever's good for you. Ultimately, we want to feel tension across the back of the arm there. And down again. And go quite light for this one as well. Very things you can do with this one. You can use a cable as well. We're going to be using dumbbells. A little bit hard to use. A little bit harder to control. Then start light. 
lovely stuff. Next one, give the right a rest. Up to the top we go. Do whatever you want with this arm. Bring it in behind the head and up to the top. Behind the head. Keeping this part of the arm here completely straight or as much as you can. I'm just gonna put my arm anywhere in my body here just to get out of the way. Lovely. Really focus as well as you're bringing that down, not to move the arm too much. Keep this part locked in. One more. Excellent stuff. Cool. And that's the end of block three. Now that brings us down now to our cool down. So we get the dumbbells out of the way, use the space on the floor. We've got some effectively with some yoga poses for this one. So we're gonna start off with the cobra. We are gonna go on the ground, use the mat if you need to. Hands directly below the shoulders. The upper body, lower body go down like so. And push your chest up. And we're gonna hold this one. Maybe 30 seconds or so. Control the breathing. Keep as static as possible. Keep it in chest up. You might feel you're shaking like I am. Just control the breathing. Enjoy the music. Lovely stuff. That's going to bring us into child's pose now. So, hands same position. Knees on the floor. Going to open up the hips a little bit. We want to go pushing our shoulders down, head down to the ground, and feel a stretch across our whole body. Just holding this one. Woo! And controlled breathing. Keep holding that one. And relax out of that. We're we'll to stand up now, come into our chest opener. Wipe sweat away if you need to. Open up the chest, just like we did at the start. This time we're just gonna hold it. Squeeze shoulder blades at the back. Give the chest a good stretch. We've been working a lot today. Shoulders as well. And back. Woo! That was a tough one. And I wrote it. There we go. Squeeze the shoulder base, big stretch of the chest, squeeze fists together, and relax. Fantastic job today, guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed yourself. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.